Hi, strangers. Hope you're doing well. Now, this is going to be my first video of this kind, so bear with me and my terrible audio and video quality. <laughs> um, but let's get straight into it. So I've had this little fella for several years now, and I recently thought, hey, isn't it a great model base for something like an Animal Crossing dog? With the release of New Horizons earlier this year, I've, to be honest, been playing the mobile game Pocket Camp. Like, there's no tomorrow, and this is because I don't have a Switch. <laughs> when I started playing Pocket Camp, I chose Goldie as my first villager, and honestly, she's just so pure and wholesome and deserves more love. So let's get crack a <laughs> After a much needed bath and removing all traces of previous identity, we've got a nice blank slate. Off the bat, the base color is wrong. So let's change that with paint. I'll mostly be using yellow and white, but I will also add a tiny bit of red here and there, and it turns out I never needed the black. But there you go. I'm not exactly sure what plastic this is, but plastics usually work very well with acrylic paints, so that's what I'ma use. If it looks like I know what I'm doing here, trust me, I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't consider myself a painter, so I'm relying entirely on patience and determination to mix a matching colour. <laughs> also, keeping in mind that acrylic paint does dry in a slightly darker tone as I go along. I'm also watering it down because I personally don't really like seeing the actual brush strokes in the paint once it's dried. It does mean more layers, but I'd say totally worth it, actually. Excuse me. I'd say that looks nice and even. Now onto those iconic blotches. I have no idea what the hell this figure actually is from, because whatever packaging or info it came with, preteen me most likely threw it away. Google is good, but not that good. <laughs> I think it was from a mystery blind bag, or maybe even a capsule gutcha-like machine thing? 
I can't even remember that. Crikey. But if you have any clue on who this little pupper is, let me know because I'm getting desperate. Oh, f I sure hope this isn't some kind of rarity. Too late. Goldie is starting to finally take shape now, but she's all Nikki, so let's slap some more paint on that butt of hers. I was going to have to paint the tweed pattern as well, but I realized just how much harder that'll be than just to eyeball it. More tedious, sure, but I trust my eyes more than I trust my math skills. But just before I draw on her though, she needs to be a matte mutt, because right now she's honestly shining brighter than my future. Look at the difference. Okay, so the thought here is that I begin with a sketch for the pattern in a lighter colour so that I can go over it with both the orange and the green later. However, this is way trickier than it looks, and it actually took longer than the face, so if you don't mind, I'ma just skip some parts for you here so you don't have to go through a whole two hour length video. I decided to actually make a bit of a personalized style of her face, because I thought it would fit well with the almost accurate vibe that she's giving off anyway. I'm wrong but I think Goldie is a golden Labrador. Here's the name Goldie but in Japanese her name is actually Kiarameru, the nipponized word for caramel which I personally think suits her sweet personality much more.
really kind of reminds me of that mum friend who'll threaten you with love and you have no choice but to feel good around her. gonna spoil her rotten by giving her some eyelashes as well because she is valid and she deserves it. Now time for a second layer of sealant and then I'll touch up all of those areas again just to really make those colors pop and add a few details. Her new dress that she's wearing in New Horizons is f***ing adorable so I'm taking inspiration from that look. The round collar though, I'm weak. I'll be going over the green line pattern with a yellow pencil to make a more accurate colour because right now it's a bit too dark. And before the final layers of sealant, last but not least, the glints in her eyes. I really, really hope that you like her as much as I do. She turned out so much more sweeter than I was expecting.